Welcome back to TGAT Revit. I'm Thomas Garvin. Uh, this is just a quick video to answer a question from Veronica, a subscriber. She has watched the uh, the detail areas scheduling video with, with Dynamo. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go ahead. I'll put a link in the description. And she's asking how to then total the areas. So this this is reasonably straightforward. Well, like, like everything else, when you know how to do it. Uh, so let's just go get it done. Now, this is the schedule that we created in the last video. Uh, just by way of reminder, what we did in the last video is we uh, created a Dynamo script to track filled region areas uh, and then pull those areas uh, you know, live from the, the, the each filled region and take that area and then plop it into a parameter we created called uh, detail area. Okay, And then we scheduled that. And again, Veronica has asked, well, how do I get a total, right? So this is what we do. We go to our schedule and we go into formatting, edit, and we select the parameter that we want to total, which is detail area. And down here where it says no calculation, we click on that and select calculate totals. There's other options, but totals. And okay. Now I need to go to my sorting and grouping tab down to grand totals and tick uh, select there's a few options there I'm just going to select totals only you can play around the different options totals only and okay and if I scroll down guess what there she be at the bottom of the screen fantastic well Veronica I hope that answered your question uh, let me know uh, and to anybody else listening out there I hope that helped you too <laughs> <laughs> this is like comment and, and uh, if you haven't if you haven't already you know what to do subscribe i'll see you in the next one guys